Right then, so I'm going to start cracking on with the frame, but uh, I'm going to blast the frame and all the rest of it to make it lovely and smooth, and we're going to give it an acid treatment with the zinc phosphate and what have you. But what I wanted to do is actually try out um, paint stripper to get rid of most of it. So the first place I'd go to is a paint stripper called Nitromores, which back in the day was absolutely fantastic stuff and toxic as fuck and used to burn your eyeballs out your head. Um, but looking at reviews, they've changed the formula recently because the EU were a bunch of cunts. Um, so it's now useless, that's what everyone's saying. So I looked online for some other stuff and at my local B&Q, which is kind of like Harbour Freight if you live in the States, I found this stuff, which is Polysil um, Max Strength Paint Stripper. People are saying it hit and miss, but it's pretty good. And I also got this stuff, which is Dial Paint and Varnish Remover. Um, this is their cheap stuff. So this was about eight quid, let's say, fourteen dollars, something like that, for thirteen dollars. And this was three pound fifty, which is fuck all. Um, so we're going to try both of them. I thought I'd get both because this is only three pound fifty. So I thought that's odd. It. So I'm going to do a bit of the frame with this and a bit of the frame with this, and we're going to see which is which. So I started putting this one on first onto the frame and the paint is coming off onto the brush as I paint it so that's in a sense a good sign so uh, the stuff stinks looks like that um, it's a gel form it stinks a bit but not like nitro wash used to do anyway so I'll apply this and uh, give you an update see how it's gone